Hi, we have a massive software update that we're releasing and I'm here to tell you a little bit about it. The main feature is that the T2 devices will now record temperature events and mark them uh, much more with much more resolution than they used to. Uh, to do this, basically what you're going to do is update all your apps and then update the firmware in your T2. Um, that's about it. But uh, I want to explain a lot further for the people who uh, want more explanation. And, you know, those of you who don't, uh, you know, go ahead and do that. What we've seen is that these temperature events uh, flag swarms, and they also seem to flag uh, a number of other behaviors that we had, don't quite understand yet, like virgin queens leaving for their mating flights and those sorts of things. So we want to get it out there, and we hope that you all keep notes in your, uh, in your My, My Brood Binder site uh, that help us understand what's going on. Uh, you will also uh, need to update your cell uh, firmware if you have a cell. And if you do that, the big advantage is that you'll get alerts when these temperature events happen. So that's pretty cool, and you know, as soon as you get that alert, you can go out and see what the hive's doing and maybe catch it in process to make your notes better. So anyway, uh, to go through it a little bit, uh, it, we had to touch almost every piece of software we own. So uh, what you want to do is update the apiary app. We really recommend this is the best app to use. Uh, it's the one we're putting the most energy into. Uh, you know, we have limited resources, so we do that. And uh, we've done a lot of updates. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is clear the list. Um, it never hurts to do that. The list is built live from what it's listening to. So uh, you can use a little X up in the top right-hand corner and clean out things. And if anything's not, you know, adding up right, you know, just clear that and see what happens. Uh, of course, first you'll need to put in your username in the settings. The settings is over here. And you'll put your username and password, and it'll go out and make sure that you have an account. You have to have an account to use the Apiary app. Uh, it can be a free account, or it can be a premium. Either one will work. Uh, with the free account, you won't have quite all the automatic features, but uh, this is still the best app we think for you to use. Okay, so what I see on my list are a lot more details now than we used to have. Um, including if the version, the firmware on the device is out of date, it'll list that. So the one right up at the top, 418E2A, uh, it has VER 2.77. That is the standard T2 version that we've been shipping uh, up until now. And underneath, you'll notice now we have the hives that the sensors are stored in. And as the list builds, we organize those so that all the sensors for that hive are close together. Okay, so I'm going to click on the black text, and then we have a detail screen that comes up, and this gives you a lot more information than it used to, and it also has a number of new controls. Uh, so, you know, working from the top, there's the, the name of the number of the device, uh, what hive it's stored in, the current temperature that it's reading, uh, battery, Bluetooth signal, how many log samples are logged inside the device. I just reset this one so it's only got one. And when it was last uploaded. And also at the bottom, the current firmware version. Then below you'll see an array of buttons. A sync device to Broodminder is you know what reads the device and pushes it up straight to my Broodminder. So that's the one you'll typically use uh, if you're not using the uh, uh, cloud upload button up at the top there. Uh, view on mybroodminder.com will take you directly to mybroodminder on your phone and take you to the hive that this uh, sensor is stored in. Power off lets you turn off uh, T2 devices. Uh, if you're going to put them in storage over the winter or that sort of thing, you can uh, turn off the power now with that. Clear the device log. You know, as these things run for you know, over a year, the device log gets full and you know there's no need to keep all that so you can clear it with that uh, test connection what test connection does i'll just push it you know it basically just connects to the device makes sure that it does it and then it shows you what the logging rate that it is set at right now so 
this one you can see it uh, finished and it's saying continue but the logging rate set to 60 minutes so that's 8b2a then the other thing you can do down at the bottom is you can change that logging rate to 15 minutes if you want to uh, normally we set them at 60 and when you restart it it will be set at 60 but what we found is during swarm season on the scales in particular it's nice to get it up to 15 minutes because then you can see the timing between this temperature pulse uh, that happens and when the swarm actually leaves the hive so uh, you might want to do that and then what we're going to do right now is update the firmware so you see the update firmware button I'm going to push it it's going to warn me that once you do this all the data that's stored in the device is going to go away all the stuff you know that's in the cloud that's safe and not a problem but we want to update that and it gives you a bunch of information here that you can read but the big thing to note is that after you update a T2 uh, which has a ID of 41 uh, colon something something colon something something it's going to change that number to 47 with the other four digits after it we do that because we need to keep track of what is the swarm minder devices we call them which is the 47 and the original t2s which are the 41s so the t the 41s read temperature and that also is all it reads the 47s also have a status word and that status is going to say oh i just saw a four degree bump in temperature and now the data is at one minute increments so it's a little confusing renumbering but we didn't see another way around that so that's what's happening uh, once it's done uh, it says update done press close you can press close it says uh, you may need to clear the device list uh, so because it's renumbering you might need to clear this list to get rid of that 41 device so this is the one that I updated and after it updates it turns off push the button like you did when you install it the light will come on you hold that button for at least five seconds you can hold it a long time and then once you release the button you should see it flash and we've shortened the flash it's about 20 seconds now but you'll see it flash 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 and that lets you know it's running a lot of people have installed these where it flashes once and you put it in the hive you see something on your phone because we use that to test them all before we ship them but then it turns off to preserve the battery while we ship it so once you you can also test a t2 anytime at, if you push the button and it is running it'll give you some short flashes that let you know okay it's running it's already started and now what we see on our list is 47 8 e 2 a 73 degrees and no firmware version because it's up to date and you'll notice it changed from 41 8 e 2 a to 47 8 e 2 a um, the other functions still work so if you want to scan your whole apiary then the cloud with the up arrow will do that and it will do them all but it won't do any firmware updates or those sorts of things so that's it um, I'll put a couple more videos out there I'll put a video and let you know about uh, updating your cells and thanks for doing this with us